Some people have really positive views of themselves, others not so positive. How do you view yourself? Self-esteem is essentially a matter of how you evaluate yourself. There are not that many people who have really negative views of themselves. There are people who think really high of themselves and others more in the middle. Mentally healthy people tend to have somewhat high self-esteem. They tend to overestimate their good characteristics and have these positive illusions. Depression goes with low self-esteem. Uh, people suffering from depression tend not to have so many positive illusions. This has been an ongoing issue in clinical psychology. If you go back to the 1960s, people said, what's wrong with depressed people? Uh, they're twisting everything, seeing the world in this negative way. We've got to get them out of these twisted negative ways of thinking. If they could just see the world as it is, the depression would go away and they'd be fine. But then when people started doing research on it, the research started saying, oh no, depressed people are actually seeing the world as it is. It's the non-depressed people who are seeing it in a positive way. So then the idea that you could cure depression by getting people to see the world as it is, no, that's not the cure, that's their problem. Around this time, some psychologists began to turn away from the idea that seeing reality accurately is the best thing. Instead, there was a new movement to bolster self-esteem. The view spread that many people must be suffering from low self-esteem. Uh, also, evidence began to accumulate that low self-esteem was correlated with a variety of problems, including school failure, and drug addiction, teen pregnancy, poverty, depression, anxiety, uh, and so on. Seeing these links, thoughtful people began to say, well, if we could increase everybody's self-esteem, it would solve a lot of society's problems.